excited about this year. This event goes to children in primary, secondary, tertiary schools, also community-based organizations serving those with special needs. JT thanks for annual child to run walk for education. Sunday, September 8, 5.30 a.m. Register at runningeventsja.com. Follow MBJ Airports on social media for more information and giveaways. Oh, that got me amped up. <laughs> All right, we are back, and thank you so much for staying with us. Okay, the MBJ Airports Limited and Team Sangsta International are getting ready to leave the wheels on the tarmac and hit the streets for a great cause. Okay, it's the Team Sangsta's charity run walk, and it's happening on Sunday, September 8th, aiming to provide financial assistance to support the educational pursuits of the children in Western Jamaica. Of course, manager of commercial business development and marketing at MBJ Airport, Sharon Hislop-Holt, is here to share all the details about this fourth staging. Good morning, Good Sharon. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here to share with the viewers and the public just on this initiative. So MBJ Airports Limited is the company which operates the Sangster International Airport on behalf of the government and the people of Jamaica. And we have always had concentrated efforts on education as well as the youth. And this initiative, the charity Run Walk initiative, it came about really to pull the airport as well as the wider community together, but very importantly, to raise funds mm. for education. We have numerous students who are in dire, dire streets in terms of getting to schools and getting a quality education. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that we think definitely we need to pay attention to. And we have always worked on that. And so we, the first year, we concentrated efforts on St. James. But by year two, we actually expanded that to Western Jamaica. Mm -hmm. This year, with Hurricane Beryl, <coughs> what we have done is to expand also to St. Elizabeth. Mm. We are sure yeah. that the students in that location would, could definitely do with some assistance. And yes, okay. and we have been growing this year over year. Last year we had approximately 50 sponsors and this year we are close to 80 sponsors. Wow. And to us, that's a commitment that Corporate Jamaica sees that there's also this need to ensure that there's financial assistance accessible to students who are in that. need. I'm curious to know if you guys have a target. Like, you know, sometimes we do this and I want to know, I want to know <laughs> Where we are run for, how much yes, we are trying raise, how much us. people, you know what I mean? So right. what's, what's the target for this year? Okay, now you want me to push it up higher yes. than I right. could do that, yes. but no. So <laughs> year over year, we have been, so year before last, we did 4.5 million. Last uh. year, the target was nine and we did 11. <gasps> I don't know if we'd be able to do 22, but wow. if we can, that would be excellent. Wow. But um, our target is about 18 million. Yeah. I love that. And just right. for an idea, you know, you've raised those ones last year. What type of impact did it have last year? What type of, you know? Okay, so 180 students benefited directly from the grants. Mm. So that was anywhere from between 50,000 per student to 200,000 for tertiary mm -hmm. students. Uh, we also had four community organizations that benefited. So one that works with the visually impaired, a school, for the hearing impaired and two community organizations that assist youths from inner city communities who, you know, after school, they don't have the resources. And so they teach them skills as well as, you know, just mentorship and so on. And after the run walk, we normally have a grant award ceremony. We have mm -hmm. all the applications and we go through and we invite the persons to come. The sponsors would be there to hand over the funds. And one of the community organizations the year prior, they used the funds to purchase musical instruments mm. for some of the students who were musically inclined and so on. And I can tell you, the band came and played at the ceremony. And just to see the talent yeah. of the children, and you know, it brought real joy to us mm -hmm. just to see that this event could have changed some persons, because we don't know what the outcome, there could have been a totally mm -hmm. different outcome mm -hmm. from those youths. And so we also had individuals who just reading their story, just reading the application forms, I'm telling you, 
I have a great team working with my commercial yeah. team and just going through year over year, we are like, listen, we have to ensure that we do all that it takes to continue this event because we see the impact on the that. students and society. Oh, this nice yeah, bad. it's really nice to hear <laughs> the nice stories. Yeah, yeah, because you know sometimes we, we do these things and we don't really get to see the other part, so the right. other side of it. So yes. it's really nice for you to be able to, to share us share with us um, all of that. I'm curious to know though for anybody who wants to, to be a part, give me the, give me the prizes, <laughs> for the top finishers. <laughs> We're really happy all to right. be raising funds, but more want to know if my well, finish. What, what, okay. 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 <laughs> so I'll give you the prizes for finishers. Okay. Yeah. Each person who finishes, they'll get a medal. Ooh. A finisher medal looks oh. very Ooh. similar okay. to that. As well as um, we will have refreshments after and entertainment. And for the entertainment, we always try to come with surprises. Mm -hmm. So come out and I'm sure you'll be surprised. However, we have lots of sponsors on board. And so not just for persons who win a particular segment of the race, but we will be on social media from now until the event mm -hmm. and persons can win airline tickets, hotel stays, wow. gift vouchers, and yes, so people, we invite all to just join us, follow us on social media, MBJ Airports LTD on Instagram, as well as for, they can visit running events to register, mm -hmm. www.runningeventsja.com as well as mbjairports.com for application forms for the grant, which are which is now open and students can start application process. Okay, great. For those of us planning to go, right? Mm -hmm. And win, mm -hmm. right? Um, just tell me some of the logistics of it. So I know it starts at 5.30 a.m. and the starting point is at the airport. So the but starting what's point. What's the arrangement in terms of parking, yeah. right. shuttles okay. or? Yes, so we have some parking on airport just based on the numbers who register, and we think we may need to do outside um, parking, which we okay. did last year. So we will have parking off-site, which we normally just communicate to all the registrants. We put parking signs on the roadways, and we have shuttle buses, which takes you from off-site or even from the parking area to the actual staging area for the event. And so that's, that's all coordinated. We are in that process. We work with running events. We have all the logistics on the route, work with the municipal corporation, the police, all of that. So it's our organized, mm -hmm. very organized mm -hmm. event, the timed event. And so, you know, the persons who like to compete, you know, you will see your time and compete against whoever or your last run. Or your last run, yeah. Right. Because it's so a 5K and a 10K, right? It's a 5 right. and so you 10K. Walk the 5K. And no, you can walk or run, run the 5K, 5K. but okay. the 10K is just a run. Just right. run. Okay. So we... We start at the commercial pickup area in the airport. So that's where all the hotel buses would okay. wait in the days. So it's early morning, so nothing is happening at that time. And we go to the east towards Flankers mm -hmm. Community, 45K, just, just beyond that stoplight and back. Amazing. 45K. The 10K takes you behind the airport to the White House community. Okay, and remind us again that. how we can register uh, to be a part of this. So you register at www.runningeventsja.com or MBJ Airports. Oh, it sounds like it's gonna be incredible. It is going to be, I'm ready. we yeah, always I have a lot of fun there. People <laughs> really, really yes. enjoy. And as I said, we try to do little changes year yeah. over year. Yeah. And again, I just wanna say thank you so much to the sponsors, yeah. our partners who have come on board. And we are really appreciative of, of what Love they do. That, and that. all who work to make this initiative happen and continue to happen year over year. Love that, love that. And it's a win-win. Some activity, yes. plus so again, for health, a great cause. Health, exactly. camaraderie, yeah. persons perfect. on the airport. It's perfect. So, <laughs> yes. Thanks so much, Sharon. That was Sharon Hislop holt from MBJ Airports representing for the Team Sanctus Charity Run Walk. We take a break, you know, we'll have to pay some bills. You know it works. Yeah. But on the flip side, we celebrate the spirit of unity and joy with Love and Togetherness 2024. Stay with us. We are so excited and we can't wait to set off, to jet off, and it's all in aid of charity. Thanks to Corporate Jamaica, Thanks to MBJ team, thanks to our sponsors. Each year, you make this initiative better than the last. It's a really important event for us, for the community, and we hope to see everybody in 2024.